Hi, my name is Pam Farron, and I'm one of the medals instructors at Worcester Center for Crafts in Worcester, Mass. And like you, we are not in our studio, like you might not be in school right now, and you're working from home. I'm working from home. And we thought it might be fun to come up with some projects that you might be able to do at home uh, just to sort of keep yourself busy because it can be a long day. And we know that you're home doing your schoolwork, which is super important, and we're really happy that you're doing that. But we'd also like you to have a little bit of fun. So we've come up with several different projects, which we'll be presenting in most likely video format that you can do at home, hopefully. And it does include things like math um, and critical thinking, using tools, so eye-hand coordination. So they're all good things. Um, the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to make these crazy bottle cap pins. Um, I chose a Coca-Cola. I happened to get these at Seoul of Mexico. It's a wonderful Mexican restaurant in Worcester. And um, I'm not really sure what this is from. I know it's from beer. Uh, my family, my husband and my son like to drink unusual beers and that's one of the caps and I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you how to take a bottle cap and a safety pin and how to make it into a pin that you can wear in your clothes. Pretty cool. So what you will need, some bottle caps. So I have some different bottle caps. Safety pins. Ideally a one and a half inch safety pin, but you certainly could use, oops, I just dropped that one. You certainly could use a two inch if that's what you have, but you probably don't want to go smaller than an inch and a half, just because of this, the width of the bottle cap. You'll need a ruler. You will need a pair of pliers. You will need a nail to punch a hole in the bottle cap. Here I have two different nails. I started with this one when I did my practice pieces and it worked okay. It's really short so it made it more difficult for me to get some leverage um, inside the bottle cap. So I decided to jump up a size because it's a little longer. You probably don't want to go much thicker than that. That's a good size. That's called a 15 gauge. That means uh, that's the thickness of it. Um, and I'm not sure how long it is. Let's see, it is an inch and a half long. If you happen to have, if someone in your home happens to have a drill, you could use a 1 16th inch drill bit. Um, but you definitely wanna ask an adult to help you with that. Let's see what else will you need. You'll need a pair of cutters, I said pliers, you'll need a hammer and a sharpie. And I hope that's it, I think that's it. And I need some magnifying glasses, so I'm gonna put those on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my sharpie, click it open, and what I'm gonna do is hold the pin up against the edge, and I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put the holes. And the holes are actually gonna go on the parts that bump out. So even though it fits in here, I'm gonna make a, a mark on the outside of this one. And then what I found is if I go one, two, three, four, five, and onto the next one, that'll work. So I, then I need to transfer this into the inside. So I copy that sort of with my eye and I make a line come over here and I come on that bump and I copy that with my mark. So now, oh, and I didn't say a block of wood, you need a block of wood. The reason you need the block of wood is what we're gonna do is take this nail and use it to punch a hole in this bottle cap. And you certainly don't wanna be doing it into someone's table. You will be in really, really big trouble if you do that. So what I'm gonna do is, there's sort of a natural line along the inside, I'm gonna Hold my nail as best I can because it wants to slip. If it gets too slippy, what you can do is take a piece of masking tape and put it on the inside and it'll help keep it from slipping. What I'm going to do is hit, 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 oops, until I go through. I started. And you see me dropping things? That'll be you. That'll happen to you. Oh, I 
can feel it went through, so I know it's stuck. Wait, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And now I have a hole through that, can you see? And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna take this. This is really the trickiest part because everything wants to slip and slide. So you just gotta figure out how to hold it. Yeah, I felt it go into the wood. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You don't want to hit it so hard that it goes really deep because then it'll be harder to get it out of that block of wood. So now I have these holes. If I happen to have um, a little file, I could use a little file to take that little sharp nib. I think you can see. See how it pops up a little bit there? So if I had a file, I could take a file and just take some of that sharpness off. But if you don't have a file, you could also use sandpaper or you could use a, uh, a nail file. And just quickly, you just want to take any little sharpie because you don't want to catch it on yourself or your clothes. And then I'm going to take my cutters. Um, I happen to have these, any kind of cutters you have that are side cutters or flush cutters. These cutters won't work because there's no way I can get that cutter inside at the, at the um, bottle cap. So I have to use one like this. And I'm going to pop it inside here and I'm going to pop. And i got to find that other hole. Is that the one I did? Nope. All right. All right. We're getting near the end. So now I'm going to take my pliers. Here's one hole. Here's the other hole. So this is the top of my pen. I'm going to, on this side of the cut, I'm going to lift the pen, the side of the cap up. And I'm going to do the same over here. So think of it like you're making cat ears. So see how they're sticking up like that oh, cat ears and then I'm gonna take my pen I want it to open up I don't want it to open down I want it to open up and if I'm right-handed I want it to face I want the head of the pen to face to the left it's not a big deal if it goes the other way it's just easier to um, secure it and I'm gonna push it in here and I'm going to push it in here to like let pop and pop and then I take my pliers and I take that little piece of metal that little cat ear and I'm going to gently bring it back down until it's pretty much where it started and I just want to feel it to make sure there's no sharp edges and I kind of want to try to make it look like I never did anything to this bottle cap, like I never cut it. I can feel a little sharpie there. So I'm just going to come back in, do it a little bit. Much better. All right. And there we go. So I'm a little crooked. Sorry about that. But that's kind of fun. And then I can take my pin. I can pin it onto my clothes. And then I can close it up. So it's as simple as that. Um, this is some cool bottle cap. I don't know what that's from. I'm sure it's from some beer. Um, I don't know what that's from either. I'm just a bottle cap collector. Uh, but what I liked about it is that it's just black, which is really cool. This one had an image on it. And what I did was I took some sandpaper and I sanded the image off. And it gave me some rough area and clear area. So if I wanted to, I could take a paint marker and I could paint the cap. I could write something on it. I could um, do a drawing on it. I can color this all in. 
it has to be a paint marker can't it won't work if it's like a Crayola like a water marker you know a water based marker a washable marker it won't work because it will just um, the ink will just ball up so it has to be a paint marker I'm gonna try and keep my fingers out of there because I don't want to get it on my fingers if you had latex paint you could paint it if you're not sure if something will work try it and if it works awesome and if it doesn't well you learn something and then you can wipe it off and try again so what I can do is let that dry and then if I have different colors pink white whatever I can draw on top of that so I can make my own pin so I hope you found that interesting if you have any questions please let us know We're happy to answer them um, always remember to ask for help if you need it. Always remember to ask to use tools. If they're not your tools, ask to use them before you take them. Um, make sure you're safe. If you uh, have safety glasses at home, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you wore some safety glasses. Um, if you're not sure about doing something, like if the doing the nail part is a little too tricky and you're not sure, ask for some help. I bet there's somebody around you that would be happy to give you a hand. So I hope you like this project. I hope to see some of these in the community. That would be kind of cool when we're finally out and about and we get to see each other again. Um, take care of yourself and hopefully I'll see you at the next video. Thanks. Bye.